Hey, how you doing? I'm MC3, Zachary Bell. Today is November 10th, 2011, and we're one day away from the Carrier Classic. We got a special guest for the show today, and we're going to talk to some of the players. Let's get it started. All right, I'm here with Draymond Green of the Michigan State Spartans. Harrison, the Black Falcon Barnes. I'm here with Austin Thornton, Tyler Zeller. All right, I'm here with legendary coach Tom Izzo of the Michigan State Spartans. John Henson. Oh, you know who we're here with now. Dexter Strickland of North Carolina Tar Heels. How does it feel to be practicing board the aircraft carrier? Um, you know, to be practicing aboard an aircraft carrier, you know, it's, it's a different feeling. You know, um, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that I'll be on a Navy aircraft carrier. Uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, you know, I'd been on an aircraft carrier when I was about five or six, and uh, all I remember from back then was it was just how big it was. I think it's very cool. Uh, I got in a bunk yesterday. Uh, it was a little tight. You know, I, the ship is incredible. You know, yesterday we had a tour of it and uh, from top to bottom, and I, I think it's an incredible uh, structure. Uh, it's huge. Uh, you know, we went inside a little bit under, and, uh, you know, the ceiling's a little shorter than I expected, but, uh, <laughs> you know, everything else is just, uh, spectacular. Truthfully, how does this rank among your uh, life experiences? Um, this this ranks among my life experiences, number one. Definitely number one, you know, to be doing something for the country. This is number one. I mean, I've never played a basketball game outside on the aircraft carrier. It's kind of with so much history and so many people going to be involved in this game. So definitely number one. This is no question uh, the number one. It's definitely up there. It's, uh, if not number one, uh, it's something that you always see on TV, but you never really get experience in real life. It's, I mean, it's got to be one of those uh, things yeah, that I'll probably never forget. Okay. Um, that's the top three. Right. Is there anything else you want to say to the sailors? Well, I'd like to tell all the sailors how much we appreciate what they do. We appreciate the opportunity to maybe share their home for a few days, and uh, and we really appreciate the sacrifices you all make to keep us in a position where we can play the game. So. True legend, Tom Izzo. Thanks, man. Thanks, sir. All right. I just want to thank you guys for what y'all do for us every single day. You know, waking up early in the morning, going to sleep late at night. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for everything you guys do, and uh, the work goes uh, so much unnoticed. So we just want to glad to say thank you. We just want to say how great of an opportunity this is uh, to come aboard this ship. Uh, I just want to say thanks for everybody. Uh, I know you guys uh, do a lot for us that uh, we may not realize, and I, I don't think I can do what you guys do, so I have a lot of respect for you. Thank, uh, thank you for everything you do. Uh, this country you know, wouldn't be what it is without y'all, and I uh, appreciate oh, wow. everything you do. Uh, we just want to say thank you, and we appreciate all your hard, all your hard work, and um, God bless to every, every, each and every one of you. I think it's real exciting for all of us. I know it's exciting also for all the people in the Navy to be able to be entertained uh, by two quality teams. Uh, I think the whole structure has been phenomenal. The hospitality, the beauty of all the people have been phenomenal. All the people I met from the captain to the chief, right down to your man level. You all have been really great. If I had to put it in Vitalis, I would simply say, you're awesome, baby, with a capital A. Dick Vital, true legend. All right, man. I love my legend.